Howdy, howdy, how y'all doing? My name is Sark, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic. It's been a minute since I've played, but uh, if I remember correctly, we were on our way to find Andronicus Ravel's old associate, who can tell us where another one of his old associates is. Um, we're headed out into the desert to find her first. Um, and then, uh... Hopefully, she can tell us where the uh, dude was who mutinied or who started the mutiny or whatnot of Andronicus and his crew. And I always forget that I have a speeder, but I think we're already here. I think it's up ahead. And we attack. This dude here. As soon as, of course, as soon as I start recording, the cat has to have his say. Meow. Hmm. Hello? Anybody in here? Casey Ricks. Andronicus sent me. He said you know where to find Silas Wilkes. Andronicus? You mean he's out of prison? He doing all right? And he's <laughs> after Wilkes. Shrug. Figures. <laughs> Andronicus doesn't really forgive or forget. Hey, you're not planning to harm him, are you? Nope. Don't worry. I promise not to hurt him. Okay, then. I'll tell you where to find that son of a hut. In fact, I'll make sure he's there so you can kill him. Wilkes's base is hidden out of Ether's view. Andronicos will know what I mean. Got it. Out of Ether's view. I think I can remember that. Good. Let me call Wilkes. Make sure he stays put. It'd be a shame for you to storm HQ while he's out. Thank you. I appreciate your help. Watch me work. Casey, sweetheart, got something to report? Andronicus hasn't turned up, has he? Oh, sigh. What do I have to do to make you stop worrying about Andronicus? Well, I could think of a few things. Creepy. Have you reconsidered my offer? That's why I called. Are you free in, say, a couple of hours? We could talk about it. In person. Creepy. I always have time for you. I'll be right here, sweetheart, whenever you're ready. Oh. Ugh, I hate that guy. <laughs> Andronicos never went for that eyelash batting junk, but Wilkes is there, so hurry up and kill him. I wish I hadn't seen that. I found that whole exchange deeply disturbing. It's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> a little goes a long way with Wilkes's brand of self-love. What this? But I won't shed any tears when he's gone, to say the least. Uh... Thanks, I guess. All right, speed her away. Okay, back to Andronicus. Running these errands. I love how they uh, how they made this little town here. I think they did a really good job, like evoking how Tatooine looks. Go. Almost there? Almost there. Okay, so he is in here. Mr. Andronicus. Tell Reg I can't have any more slip-ups. Wilkes finds out I'm here, it'll be like Rusan all over again. Rusan? Yes, Andronicus. I, I, whatever you say. Go. Hmm. What's up? About time, Sith. This room's feeling a lot like that escape pod. Make me happy. Tell me you found Wilkes. Uh, she gave me a cryptic message. Casey said Wilkes was out of Ether's view. Ether's. Ether's view. Ether's. Out of Ether's view, huh? Spineless son of a hut is hiding underground. 
Okay, what are we waiting for? Wilkes is a dead man. There's a system of caves on the other side of the abandoned farm settlement. I wager that's what Casey meant. All right, let's get moving. Why aren't you shooting already? Hey, I always want to shoot something, but the old girl encrypted something on this data pad. Okay. Looks like it's an access code. Something we'll need to get into this hidden HQ, probably. Okay, bring it along. Looks like it could come in handy. I'm gonna blast Wilkes for every day I spent floating in that escape pod. And then I'm gonna stomp on his bones. While Papa Frogens in Alama Patai Galakai in Alama Patai Galakai Would you abandon Kemval, servant of Great Tulak Horde, for some weak human? This is temporary. I need him to find the artifact. Ake us erpai was Be wary, us. I will not be easily but forgotten. The bond missed. between us is strong, Me but it can be broken. Me frogens Kup peinaina. Uh, patience, Kem. I promise this is only for a short time. I count on you to keep that promise. I will wait at the ship. Oh, he gonna go sulk. How come I can't bring both of them along? Where am I going now? How do I get out of here? Uh, over. Yeah, there we go. All right, success. We have left the cantina. Oh, and now we got to go back up all the way where we were before. Give me my speeder. I can go a little bit faster, at least. All right, I need to talk to you, don't I? At your service, my lord. Trouble that is confirmed. <laughs> So cool. I spent some time out in uh, out in the desert, like going through like New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, um, a little bit of Colorado, um, a little bit of Wyoming, a little bit of Montana, um, but mostly. Uh, Nevada, <laughs> but mostly like Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and Nevada, like that that area had uh, scenery that kind of reminds me of this. And some of the places that I was at. All right, where are we going? Uh, this way. Okay, maybe not that way. How do I get over there? Do I pass through here? This is definitely the wrong way, isn't it? All right. Okay, what's over here? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Of course I'm going the wrong way. There's there's a little arrow on my mini-map in the bottom corner. Why do I not look at the arrow? Hey, dude. What's up? Yeah, it's, it's me again. Sorry about that. <laughs> going this way now. Alright. Yeah, I was going the right way the first time. Oh, womp rats. Rodents of unusual size? I don't think they exist. <laughs> we also have lizards of unusual size. More lizards of unusual size. And we're going in the right direction, right? Um, am I going the right way? Maybe... This doesn't look underground. I think I'm going the wrong way. Is it over here? Do I follow this road? I don't know which road I'm supposed to be following here. Hey you! You know the right way? You're, you're going the wrong way too. I always get super turned around. But we know that already. What about through here? We don't know yet. Moss Onik. Okay. It's another town or an outpost. It's like a little little mini village, I guess. 
Uh, still keep going, I guess. Junland. Junland wastes are not to be traveled lightly. Oh, what are you? Prowling Sand Tusker. You're cool looking. Look at all your teeth. Is it in here? It's in here. This looks like an underground bunker to me. Yeah, that looks super secret. Alright, Andronicus. Show me some stuff here. Not your time yet. Sky Princess Turncoat. Okay, so these are his, um... These are his, uh, former crewmates, I guess? Of damage, my dude. There we go. All right. I need that button over there, my friends. You're in my way. I like the little jump he does. Okay, hello? Oh, you have something purple. What this? I'm gonna blast Wilkes to pieces just as soon as we find him. Okay. I love his voice actor. Oh. And there he is. What's up, dude? You don't know me. You you know him though. Well, well, Andronicus Revel. I'm surprised they Rebel. let you out of Imperial Prison. And you brought a Sith to help you. How cute. Hi. Let's see these guys. They'll crush you and your Sith. Cute? I'm not cute. I'm deadly. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. You're here for the artifact. The one the Empire was so keen on getting just before I crushed Andronicus. Would you believe he called me a nobody? A worthless, mangy, skinny little nobody. So I took his ship, his crew, his cargo, his blasters, and what else? Oh, his girl. Who's nobody now, Nikki? I'm gonna rip Nikki. out your throat and laugh while you try to scream. Can I call you Nikki? Uh, let's talk more killing. All of this chatter is making me bloodthirsty. You'll never beat me, and you'll never get your artifact. Boys, hmm. kill the Sith, but keep Andronicus alive. I want to play with him a little longer. You are creepy, aren't you, dude? Oh, don't freeze me. Call in some dudes here. I lost you there. Choke you. That's my favorite move. There we go. All right, Andronicus, he's all yours. Have fun. You, you idiots! You'll never get it now. Not the artifact. Not the blasters. Nothing. Uh, shut up. Give me the artifact now. You're so stupid. The great Andronicus Revel chases me across five planets only to fail. Yeah. He even gets a Sith on his side, and they both fail. Come on, Talk dude. sense. The artifact. It's cursed. It's cursed. Yeah, we know. Yeah, I figured that one out. They, they took it. Just like I took it from you. Took it all. The blasters, the artifact, the money. Who's they? I have no idea what you're saying. 
The men I sent to guard the cargo. The artifact made them mad. And they took it. They took all of it. You'll never get to them. They went out into the deep desert. They left weeks ago. The sand people will eat you before you ever catch them. I've heard enough. Now give me one good reason not to blast your teeth through the back of your skull. <laughs> yeah, sure, kill him. Do it. Maybe he'll finally shut up. I've been waiting to do this for a long time, Wilkes. Can't say it was nice knowing you either. <laughs> I have no regrets, Andronicus. Least of all this. <laughs> Idiot. Lost your artifact and my special made blasters. <laughs> Just wait until I get my blaster pointed at those thieves. All right. Let's go then. Less talking, more hunting. Come on. The sooner we get out there, the better chance we have of showing them thieves what's what. Okay. Where to next? Where are we going, my dude? We need to find this dude's men. So they went out into the deep, deep desert, huh? Alright, where's the deep, deep desert? Does that mean just over this, uh, this little ridge thing around the corner? By any means? By any chance? By any means. I can't speak. English! Wait, it's, it's way up somewhere, so I guess I, I do need to go further. Because my mini-map is telling me it's that way. But I'm being told that I need to get in here. Alright. Displaying all authorized destinations. Alright, let's venture off into the deep, deep desert, shall we? Zoom, zoom. How come I can't get one of these speeders as my speeder? That would be way cooler than the little dude that I have. That and there's room for, there's room for my companion to sit on the back of this one. And the other one I'm just kind of standing. Alright, where are we at? Okay, whoa. Those textures need some work. <laughs> okay. I mean, they look good up close. Not so much from far away. So, he's somewhere over here. Sand people, huh? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you for your concern, though. Did I ask you? No, I did not. Is it in here? Your turn. Aha, there it is. We've been in this desert three days now. About midday, the day we left, Narek tried to turn back, but Hayes would have none of it. We couldn't have Narek telling Wilkes. We forced Narek to continue at gunpoint. At not fall, we all got together to talk about what to do with Narek. Hayes wanted to shoot him, but Hayes wants to shoot everyone. But then the sand people attacked and took care of Narek for us. Ever since that first night, we've kept a watch to warn us if the sand people attack. Not that it does any good. Without the lights from town, you can't see anything in the desert at night. What about the stars? Tomorrow, if we're still alive, we plan to head north. Alrighty. North. According to this data then. pad, the thieves headed in this direction. Okay, good job. Okay. So, north it is. Not too many deserts actually have dunes like this. Like most of the dunes that I've ever seen have actually been on the uh, Oregon coast. Which are very pretty, mind you. Very, very pretty. 
Are we going to that square building up there, or are we going to these bones? It's beyond this? Yeah, it's beyond this. Okay. I do like the desert. I can't... I can't stay more than a few days in it myself, or I just get insufferably thirsty. Is this where I'm going? This is where I'm going. Alright. Datapad. First Narek, then Jack, then Hayes. Now Ford, I don't think I could take it anymore. I think Pal is trying to kill me. He said it was the same people who got Hayes and Jack, but he's lying. I can tell. He killed them while they slept. Hayes because he had the artifact. Jack because he accused Paul of killing Hayes. If I hadn't seen the sand people kill Ford and Narek with my own eyes, I'd think it was all Paul. I just hope he doesn't find this or I'm next. We plan to head east in the morning. I hope I live to see it. And now we gotta go east, don't we? This data pad says the thieves went this way. It can't be much further. Okay. Zoom, zoom. Let's get cracking. Do we get to go to the bones? I want to go to the bones. We're not going to the bones, are we? No, we're not. We're going this way. Man. I think that's a different quest. Ooh, but look at these bones. That's so cool. Okay, is it in here? By any chance? Yeah. Anything without a fight. Here we go. It's all over now. Paul's gone raven mad. He accused Beckus of trying to kill him at the last campsite and shot him. We are already deep in Sand People territory at the time, so the blaster shot drew all kinds of unwanted attention. That it did. Those beasts had us on the run for three days. Out of the 15 of us that started, there's only me and Paul left. Damn. Now Paul's talking about taking the artifact to the Sand People's Camp to the north as a peace offering. I tried to tell him there's no way we'll walk away from those beasts camp alive, but he wouldn't listen. Alright. Now we gotta go over here. Stay sharp, Seth. Oh, you weren't done talking. The thieves ran right into the beast's mouth. The Sand People camps. Sorry. <laughs> should let him finish talking before I jump on my speeder. But there's shit to do! Got places to be. Bodies to discover. Uh, okay, so it's what down here? Okay, so it is in here. Hmm. Ow. Okay, so we need to kill that dude in order to get in there. So, but I'd lost you there. There we go. Alright. 
Buddy. Damned idiotic nerve hurting sons of huts. They got away. Language. Not exactly. They were killed and possibly eaten. There's a difference. <laughs> what? It doesn't bother you? These idiots run off with your artifact and you don't even get to knock them around? Eh. I just can't figure you, Sith. Good. That's the way I like it. Mysterious, huh? Okay, suit yourself. Now, are we gonna get off this rock or what? Sure. Soon. I still have business to finish here. Well, when you do fly, mind taking me along? Sure, I'm a why damn not? good pilot, and I've got contacts a Sith will never make on his own. It'll be your show, no questions asked. On one condition, what's the one condition? I'm in charge, and don't you forget it. I'll take that as a yes, then. <laughs> Alrighty. I think I need to go to my ship's hangar. Okay. Oh. So you beat Wilkes and made it out of the desert alive, huh? Hi. Wilkes doesn't surprise me, but when I heard you were heading for the desert, well, I wasn't expecting to see either of you again. Uh, give the guy some credit. Andronicus turned out to be an okay fighter after all. <laughs> Better than okay, huh? I got my share of them sand people. Wasn't meant as an insult. There's lots of stuff in that desert that can't be fought, and it's just as deadly. Anyway, I'm glad you came, because it gives me a chance to thank you for taking out that runt, Wilkes. With some real leadership, maybe the exchange on Tatooine can move ahead for a change. Uh, have fun. Good luck with that. Thanks. I'm hopeful. And Andronicos? I'm sorry. It's alright, huh? We wouldn't have worked out anyway. All that shouting and throwing stuff. Somebody was bound to get hurt. Yeah, right. Well, Yikes. guess it's goodbye then. Good luck out there. Mm, let's go cause some trouble. Murder and mayhem await. <laughs> <laughs> I get the feeling we're gonna make a damn good team, you and me. We sure are. Let's get are. off this rock, huh? Alrighty. Well, I think we are going to leave this episode here because I think we have to head to Alderaan next? Yeah, that's what my little thing in the upper right corner says. So, yeah. Well, thank you kindly for watching, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye!